Welcome back, comrades. It's Brave here, and in today's video, we're elevating our server by overhauling our inventory system. And when I say it's massive, I truly mean it. Though to be accurate, it's not entirely new, but rather an update to the previous version. However, this refresh gives it a brand new look that players have really taken a liking to. Let's dive into the installation process and give you a rundown on how to implement this revamped inventory system, ensuring your gameplay experience feels fresher and more engaging. Stay tuned as we walk through the steps to get this update up and running on your server. Make sure to check out Zap Hosting, renowned as the top hosting provider for your server needs. They offer a wide variety of products that can be customized to suit your preferences. Don't forget to use my redeem code at checkout to receive a massive 20% discount. You can find the code in the video description. Additionally, there's more exciting news. If we surpass 100 members using Zap through our link, I will host a giveaway for a lifetime Zap server. This is a fantastic opportunity for our community, so make sure not to miss out. To kick off the integration of this dynamic update into your 5M server, begin by heading to our GitHub page. We've made this step straightforward for you by placing the link right in the video description for easy access. Upon reaching the page, proceed to download the folder. Once downloaded, Unzip the folder and then copy and paste it into the server directory that best fits your configuration. The subsequent step requires a minor adjustment. Simply eliminate the word main from the folder name to guarantee a seamless setup process. Ensure you have a backup of the old QB inventory somewhere on your system before proceeding with any changes. Now, let's proceed by renaming our PS Inventory to QB Inventory. I prefer calling it QB Inventory, but if you'd like to keep it as PS Inventory, that's also an option. However, simply renaming the folder is not enough. You need to take a few more steps to ensure everything works seamlessly. Open VS Code and load the entire folder of your inventory system. You'll need to replace all occurrences of PS Inventory with QB Inventory within the files. Failing to do so might result in issues, such as your screen blurring out once you close the inventory interface. For those who are first-time users and haven't made significant additions to the previous QB inventory, these steps should suffice. However, I have many scripts that rely on the old QB inventory system. So my approach will be to compare the new files with the old ones and make necessary changes wherever needed. Primarily, you'll need to focus on editing three main files, client main, server main, and app JDAs, located in the HTML directory. These files are critical for ensuring that your inventory system functions correctly and integrates well with other scripts on your server. By carefully making these adjustments, you'll ensure a smooth transition to the updated inventory system.
After making all the necessary updates to the old files, the next step is to replace the old edited files with the new ones. This ensures that your inventory system is up to date with the latest functionalities while retaining any custom modifications or integrations you had in place. Additionally, it's important to transfer the old item's image folder into the new folder. This step is crucial because it ensures that all items in the inventory have their corresponding images displayed. The presence of item images enhances the user interface and improves the overall user experience by making it easier for players to identify and interact with various items within the inventory. By carefully following these steps, you're not only updating your inventory system to the latest version, but also maintaining a seamless and visually coherent item database, which is essential for player engagement and satisfaction. Now that you've updated and replaced the files with your newly edited versions, it's crucial to enter the game and test the script to ensure everything functions as intended. Upon opening your inventory, you should be greeted with a revamped UI showcasing the player's name, phone number, and state ID. Additionally, there are new slots specifically for the backpack, enhancing the storage capabilities and organization of items. However, it's important to note an issue that might arise. Items stored in the backpack may not be visible to other players who attempt to search or rob you. This could impact gameplay, particularly in scenarios where player interaction and the potential for theft play a role. Addressing this issue is essential to maintain the integrity and functionality of the inventory system, ensuring it operates seamlessly within the game's dynamics and player expectations. Taking the time to troubleshoot and resolve this visibility issue will contribute significantly to establishing your inventory system as one of the best available, offering a user-friendly and interactive experience that aligns with the gameplay's realism and immersive qualities. I encourage you to dive in, explore these changes, and contribute your own tweaks to perfect the system further. Your feedback and modifications are what make the community thrive and help in building a more engaging and dynamic gaming environment for everyone. Don't forget to join our Discord for support, share your experiences, and stay tuned for more updates and tutorials. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all our latest content. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, keep gaming and keep creating. I'm thrilled to announce that our Discord server, Coden, has surpassed 950 plus active members and is rapidly approaching the 1,000 member milestone. A heartfelt thank you to everyone. I encourage you to join our vibrant community of 5M developers, which offers numerous benefits. Our dedicated staff manage support tickets efficiently, and all my video content, complete with download links, is first released in our Discord, accompanied by a notification system. Additionally, members can share free original scripts for community use. We also feature dedicated channels for general discussions, QB core, and ESX support. Our aim is to provide comprehensive, free support and assist everyone in the community. Join us today and make a difference. Much love from the Coden team.